a good day my name is mr gutsmack i'm a music instructor a music educator in the palavai school i am doing this quick video to help my students to make sure the study at home as uh, you know that as you resume school after your midterm there will be a welcome test our first class will be test you will be tested on week five topic week six topic seven eight and nine so work hard and i pray that god gives you the best as you work hard thank you so i just want to treat this week five topic and you can see our topic is sound can you say that sound can you say that okay now our class objective a objective a we want to define sound we want to know what sound is okay objective b we want to know the sources of sound how are sound produced where are they gotten from what are their source and Objective C, we want to know the qualities of sound. Okay? The qualities of sound. We want to know the qualities of sound. Now, let's start like this. Uh, if I say you should define sound, I know you give me different definition for sound. And if I say make some sound, you know how to make sound, right? Good. That sound you're making is produced by vibration exactly so if there is no vibration of air there is no sound for instance now you're blowing uh let's say a whistle okay the whistle makes sound because of the vibration of air inside so that's why we say that sound is a vibration of air which is heard when it is produced so that vibration of air you hear is what we call sound so sound is dependent on the vibration of air as i'm talking now i'm making sound do you understand i'm making sound air is vibrating in my mouth so sound is produced if you get it say i get it if you understand say i understand okay another definition of sound is this it is also a sensation produced by objects it's a sensation produced by objects sound is a sensation and it's produced by objects the objects produce sounds when through when they are through striking they produce sound through plucking they produce sound through bowing and blowing okay so when you strike when you pluck when you blow when you bow you bow the violin and when you blow you blow the flute the clarinet sound is produced if you get it i get it now you can see this diagram here this diagram is showing that it's showing the wave of sound how sound when you produce sound how it goes Okay, this is called uh, it's, it's sleeky like. Say that after me. Sleeky like. So, if you are asked a question, the wave of sound is dash. A, sleeky. B, zigzag. D, strict. What you choose? A slicky, so it's slicky, okay. So sounds produce are what 
always slicky. Let's move to the next slide. All right, sources and qualities of sound. We'll read the sources of sound first. Talking about sources of sound, we want to know how sounds are produced. All that things that produce sound. Uh, animate objects produce sound. Inanimate objects produce sound. Animate objects are objects, they are living things. Okay, they are living things. Things that can talk, can move. We call them animate, animate things. Okay, then we have inanimate. Inanimate things are also called non living things like plants. Okay, they can't talk. Okay, they don't have life in them exactly, but they produce, they can produce sound. So, the two major sources of sound we have sounds produced by animate objects and sound produced by inanimate things. Okay, so from what you are seeing on the screen. We have uh, the following different sounds as other source of sound. So we have wind. Wind can produce sound. Stream is a source of sound. Or the river. The bird. You know the bird. The bird makes sound. And other animals as well as your musical instruments. Okay? Musical instruments. Is that clear? So, these wind, stream, river, bird, other animals, musical instruments, they are other sources of what? Sound. We also have artificial sound and we also have natural sound. So, the wind, the stream, the uh, river, bird, other animals, they are what? Natural. Producing sound. Uh, animate things okay why the musical instruments they produce artificial sounds if you understand say i understand thank you let's go to the next one no sounds Rust sound is irregular and indefinite, and that is why it produces noise because it is unorganized. But when a sound is organized, it will be regular and definite. So, an organized sound it's regular and definite. Is that clear? So, one of the quality of sound is that is a good sound must be organized. A good sound must be regular, and a good sound must be what definite, and it will definitely produce good music. So, when there's quality of sound, there's quality of there's quality of music. Is that clear? So, now we're talking about the quality of sound. And I said before that one of the quality of sound is that a good sound must be what? Organized. It must be regular and it must be what? Definite. Exactly, and when a sound is definite, organized, and regular, good music is produced. If you get it, I get it. If you get it, I get it. If you understand, say, I understand. If you concur, say, I concur. Yeah, thank you. So, lastly, these are some musical words that you need to acquaint yourself with. Okay, musical words, these are the meaning. This is adagio. Can you say that? Adagio. Adagio means slow or leisure. Okay? The next one, adante. Can you say that? Adante. 
Adante means moderately slow. Okay, at a walking pace. The next one, moderato. See that? Moderato. Okay, it means at a moderate pace. Poco a poco. See that? Again, poco a poco means what? Little by little. Sempre. Sempre means what? Always. Spirito. Say that. Again. Spirito. It means with spirit. Allegretto. Say that. Again. Means what? Moderately quick or slightly slower than Allegro. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you go over it, go through it over and over and understand its content. Thank you. God bless you.